Hello again everyone, Truck CB Sales here with a before and after tune-up report for Guy in Kentucky. That's Ranger RCI X9. Guy, you sending it in to me? Um, not sure where you got the radio. Haven't pulled the covers yet, uh, but looking at the performance of the radio, it appears to be uh, just a conversion and no tune or anything. Um, we're going to get that all fixed up for you. Uh, let me take a moment to say that right now I'm not accepting any at all mail-in repairs at least until 2023 guys i know you got a lot of radios out there that need to be repaired there's some other uh good technicians out there that uh, might have time to do some repair work um so far uh i've got like two uh names i recommend but i'm being told that both of them are backed up as well so i apologize but i can only do what i can do we're on the website truckcbsales.com and uh you know we kind of work in the uh new builds and and the uh mail-in tunes you know best we can typically running 10 to 15 days back on new orders that are radio builds okay um on your mail-in tunes it really just depends on the workload on the website so anyways guys let me just go ahead and show you what it's doing here um, I haven't touched any of the knobs or anything. Uh, I will make sure the arc power is all the way down. Got the 50 watt slug right here. Key of it's like a watt and a half. Hello, 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 there's 20 watts. Hello, 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 hello. So we're seeing about 100 watts PEP on an audio, well, about 90 or so, and about two watts of forward average power swing, key at 20 going to 22. So nothing wrong with the radio, just stock, hasn't been opened up. So we're going to get to it and we'll be back. We're back, guy. Still got the uh, mic gain set here. Uh, we did uh, set your echo about what we'd like to hear it. If uh, somebody tells you it's got a little mush, turn this one down just a little. Or if you don't want to run it at all, that's that's fine too, okay? Uh, but anyways, we're going to start the RF power all the way down. 50 watt slug. Oh, yeah. Running your microphone. 50 watt slug. And we got to set about four watts all the way down, okay? Uh, that's actually plenty low if you decide to run an amplifier that's capable of handling this radio like a four pillar bigger. I want to show you an average power swing from a four watt carrier before we had two watts of forward swing. Hello, uh, hello, uh, oh. 34 watts bird average from a five watt carrier. 250 watt slug. He was swinging to, what was it swinging to? 8 watts. Hello, 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 hello. 150 watts right there. Now we're going to take and we're going to roll the uh, RF power all the way up as soon as I get my bearings. 25 watts all the way up. Hello. Pegs a 50 watt scale. So let me go to average power here. 250 watt slug. Hello, about 65 bird average. Hello, 150 peak. Guys, it's going to be like a totally different radio for you. Um, if you do still have the buzzing, look into uh, maybe your inverter. Um, I'm going to send you that updated power cord and we'll get you fixed up. I'm your friend Truck at truckcbsales.com. Boom, boom. Get your truck rise tuned today. Truck rise.